Before we talk about the serotonergic synapse, uh, we'll go over some of the basic components of uh, what makes a functional synapse. Um, so here we have the axon. It leads into um, the presynaptic axon terminal. It's this uh, bigger circle here. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of the um, uh, transformation of how we make serotonin and then also how to break it down in this part. Over there we have, on the right, we have the uh, postsynaptic cell and down here we have the synaptic gap. Um, and that's where a lot of the interactions will take, case, uh, take place um, where um, receptors will actually be stimulated and actions will occur. Um, so as far as the serotonergic uh, synapse, uh, this is important to know the physiology um, because um, if we don't understand how um, serotonin is actually made and where it works on the cell, we're going to have a hard time uh, really understanding um, the effects of um, a number of drugs that include like antidepressants and um, antiemetics and uh, various other drugs. So um, this is a good foundation before we lead into um, some more of the uh, uh, pharmacological um, explanations behind a lot of these drugs. So we start out with the um, in the serotonergic synapse um, with amino acid um, that we think only comes from turkey um, but actually it comes from a lot of different meat different sources and that's tryptophan and tryptophan is uh, well it's in our diet like I said and uh, it is brought into the body um, and through our food and transported from the extracellular space into the cytoplasm of the um, presynaptic axon terminal through the tryptophan transporter once uh, we're transported, once tryptophan makes its way into the um, cytoplasm of the presynaptic cell, um, it is broken down by tryptophan hydroxylase into 5-hydroxytryptophan. Uh, from there, um, we are converted by L-aromatic um, acid, um, amino, L -aromatic amino acid decarboxylase, and um, if you've seen some of the other adrenergic uh, videos um, or understand adrenergic uh, synaptic physiology, you'll see that uh, similar uh, enzyme breaks uh, those down and converts um, uh, in, the, in the conversion of tyrosine. And um, so this is actually the same one. Uh, this is a DOPA decarboxylase, um, and it, it breaks down a uh, basically 5-hydroxytryptophan as well into 5-hydroxytryptamine. And so once we uh, convert it into 5-hydroxytryptamine, um, which is 5-HT, um, is what we see the abbreviation for, um, or as we know it, serotonin, um, a couple different things can happen. Um, so we have the 5-hydroxytryptamine, the um, which is our serotonin, um, and it's within the the um, cytoplasm of the cell, and uh, it needs to be transported into these little buckets, our vesicles. Um, and that occurs through uh, the VMAT transporter. Um, there's two VMATs, VMAT1 and VMAT2. VMAT2, um, vesicular mono monoamine transporter, um, transports serotonin along with um, another a number of other monoamines into the vesicles uh, where it is stored and uh, maintain until it is ready to be used. Um, another thing that can happen um, with our 5-hydroxytryptamine is it can go um, and within the cytoplasm um, it can alternately be um, converted by two enzymes and a cofactor, which I won't name, um, into melatonin. And uh, so melatonin, you know, as we know, uses a sleep aid. And, um, it works in, in a number of, uh, for another of, uh, number of other um, therapeutic um, reasons. Um, but uh, that's where melatonin comes from. It, it's broken down from serotonin um, within the serotonergic uh, synapse. And we got our melatonin. So when we're ready to use um, serotonin in our body, um, we basically need to be told, and that occurs um, uh, through the development of an action potential. And so action potential comes down um, through our axon, 
uh, it comes into our axon terminal, you know, the presynaptic axon terminal, and it stimulates the um, a number of voltage-gated calcium ch uh, channels to uh, be activated. And so all these uh, calcium voltage, uh, voltage-gated calcium channels along the um, presynaptic um, plasma membrane are activated, and this causes an influx of calcium from the extracellular space into the intracellular space, which then causes fusion of our vesicles to the plasma membrane. And when that occurs, uh, the vesicles uh, break open, they exocytose, and uh, release uh, serotonin into the synaptic gap. And so now we have all the serotonin in the synaptic gap. It's kind of where we want it to be. Um, and a, a few things can happen from here. Um, so one of the things that can occur is it can bind back onto the presynaptic axon terminal, onto receptors, which are either autoreceptors or heteroreceptors or whatnot. Uh, or they can bind to effector cells on the postsynaptic cell and activate those, causing a response, uh, whatever that response may be, uh, depending on what receptor it's activating. Or it can be brought back into um, the presynaptic axon terminal um, um, for uh, a couple of things to happen. And so it's brought back in through um, into the axon terminal through a specific serotonin uh, transporter. It's very selective um, for serotonin. Um, you know that the norepinephrine and the dopamine transporters uh, are relatively uh, permeable to norepinephrine, dopamine, and, um, and uh, epinephrine, um, but the serotonin uh, transporters um, are selective for serotonin, and that's why some drugs uh, work very well specifically for this transporter. So once in the cytoplasm, um, it, a couple of things can happen, once again. Uh, it's broken down, uh, since uh, serotonin is a monoamine, it's broken down by monoamine oxidase, um, type A specifically. Um, and once it's, it's broken down um, by monoamine oxidase and then by uh, alcohol dehydrogenase into 5-HIAA, which stands for hydroxyindole acetic acid. And... Uh, why is that important? Why do we really care? Well, because 5-IHA um, is uh, excreted in the urine, and we can uh, test for this in a 24-hour urine, and it helps diagnose carcinoid tumors. Um, so, um, Another thing that, uh, if it's not metabolized, serotonin can be transported back into vesicles by VMAT2, and um, it's a fully functional serotonin where it can be used again um, when it's needed. And that is it.